What is up, guys? Team Movement here, and we got a Sanctuary Guard deck profile. Ooh, nobody cares. Ooh, we got, we got, we finally got the missing piece, guys. Sanctuary Guard arc. Took cough, them forever. Cough, freeze ray, cough, cough. Don't talk about that card. I'm talking about him. I play that card. But um, just give me, just give me um, comments below if you guys want me to do a Raven Hair Ezo deck profile. I think that's the only deck profile I need to do from the new set. Um. I have an idea with Raven Hair Ezo since um, his his ultimate break is hilarious. Oh, you mean ride loose? Amazing. No, 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 no. His skill is if you ride if you ride him on five or more damage for the entire turn, your opponent can only guard you with great ones. So if you go into the stride that swings multiple times, then you kill them. Not planes of honey. Guard it. We don't talk about that. I love that bitch. I just, I just love Guarded. So, we're gonna be talking about Sanctuary Guard. Sanctuary Guard. So, basically, starting Vanguard is still the same starting Vanguard from the trial deck from Alt Mile. Ooh, Molinas. Um, it's only there for Candle Blast 1, put him into Soul, and add any Grade 2 from your deck to the field. Which, if you're missing a piece, he'll give you that piece. The card that we were missing forever Sanctuary Guard Arc. What makes him good? Other than the fact that he has the name Sanctuary Guard, and he's That's an 11. Is that the other guy? <laughs> and he's an 11K, unlike the other one that was trash. And you only played him for the name, and he was 10K, and he made me cry every time I wrote him. You still ride original Sanctuary. Yes, but I prefer riding him if I'm going second. If I go second, I want to ride him. If I go first, oh, of shit. course you want to ride the original Sanctuary Guard. Um, this guy's skill is on stride. When you stride into a Sanctuary Guard, um, discard one card from your hand. So basically, the original Sanctuary Guard. Um, you discard it, you call a grade one from your deck, and that unit gains plus 3k power, and your Vanguard gains plus 3k power. So it kind of fixes numbers in that aspect. And his other is GB2 is all your grade ones gain 5k power. So if you have a board full of grade ones, that's kind of big. That's really big. So this one, this Sanctuary Guard is more about giving your rear guard more power. And then I play three of the original Sanctuary Guards. Um, if you don't know his limit breaks, Oh, His that, limit that break is like for every points. great one you have on board, he gains really 3k cheap. power. And then on line, discard one and call a great one from your deck. So he's good as a, if you're going first. As uh, running your Vanguard. Great twos. We play um, three Lou. Uh, Lou skill is when he's boosted that's by... That's the real boss, that's your man. I need my baby. Yeah, yeah, Money yeah. Help. Basically, when he's basically boosted by either Bark or Flogel, he gains plus 3k power, and in Cannon Blast 1, put him into your soul. And catches and go fetches his mat because he can't fight to fight himself. He can, he can fight. He runs away into the soul, right? He, he does what he needs to do, Devon. <laughs> he needs to be there to get... <laughs> Honey, help! That's what he always does. And then we play four Blaster Blades. The deck. He is the deck. Um, before, he was a trash card, but oh, now yeah, he's 100%. not... They then gave him one card. I should give him two cards. They gave him two cards that made this and then card a, amazing. And then a bonus. Hey, you want to play? So, um, his skill that you never use Aaron unless does. you're desperate. Aaron does. Yeah, because he's desperate. <laughs> All the time. Um, on on Vanguard's on right on Vanguard skill, Cannon Blast two, and you can retire anything. On rear guard, Cannon Blast two, and retire one of your opponent's rear guards. So if you're petty and your opponent runs, grade two or higher. Yeah, grade two or higher. But the other one is you can retire anything. Oh shit. But basically. <laughs> His skills to retire is basically when you're really petty when your opponent rushes you. Okay. You never want to use that skill. Yeah, but if you're petty, I use it. Or if you have five candle bots open and your opponent has a good ball, you already lose it. Yeah. Uh, we played three bet on. Uh, skill is candle bots one, he's on rear. Call it grade one, 6k. It has to be 6k from your, from your deck. That's it. Basically, you either call the Brave Perfect Guard or you call his best friend. Maron and Maron will get you a plus plus one. So for Candle Blast one, you get two cards. Not bad. Then finally, two Knight of Twin Swords because he does your combos with your stride and he gets you Blaster Blade. This is just more ways to get Blaster Blade. More. Yes, attacks. finally. Perfect cards. We play four of the Brave Perfect cards. I got these when they were three dollars. Nobody cares. Stop whacking your dick. Their money, money now. You find her adorable. Yeah, I find no, she's in the wrong land. Oh god. 
So her skill is when you're in Brave and you call it to Rearguard, Candle Blast 1, she gains 2k power. No, no, you, she gains 2k power. And then at the end of the turn, Candle Blast 1, she bounces back to your hand. So it's pretty good Perfect Guard, so you can call it with um, Ben on. And then basically for Candle Blast 2, you got a Perfect Guard to your hand and a booster. So pretty good. We play four Stride Enablers because you want to stride and you don't want to lose. There's nothing else. Called Blast Blade. That's all it does. It's pathetic. Play three Marons because your deck has no draw option and no. there's no way to really gain advantage. One so. time, Eric damaged two and rolled one. It was hilarious. Oh, God. He must have <laughs> cried inside. He was not happy. Um, we play two Bark Goals. Um, basically, if a Blaster Blade is calling the same column as him, if you have a Blaster Vanguard, you cannot charge one. But if you're on Sanctuary Guard, you do not get the counter charge one. That is very important, people. Remember that a lot of people are dumb and they don't know that, and that upsets me. People learn how to, people learn how to read. And finally, I play as a Tekka One Battle Song Angel. For one reason, she has resist. You get one resist unit in the whole deck, Ryan? Yes. That's it? And it's won me three games. I don't know about that, Scoops. It won me three games. That's satisfactory. Because one game, I swung with the, they had freezer, I swung with the rear guard that didn't have resist. And this thing was out there. And its skill is, if you have two or more grade ones on board, she gains 2k power, so she's 9k. So, it made, it, it, it won me a game. I bought, put all the triggers in and they couldn't guard it. That's sad, man. It was, it made, it made my heart happy. And then that, and the best part is against um car uh, against um Kagero, they couldn't retire it with fucking um the now griffin. They're like I'm like swing, they're like okay, the now griffin. I'm like, okay, retire it, you can't, it has to resist. Oh, that's only fifteen KC. How big is it? Swing for thirty two. I got rid of their hand that turn. Damn. Uh, triggers. We play are you playing boxing? He's playing wrestling. We play 12 crits. Um, why, why do we play 12 crits? Because this deck literally has a time limit. If you don't win by turn 5, you lose. AKA your first stride? Yeah. If you don't win by your first turn stride or your second turn stride, you basically Put go down. Put all the down. crits on Blaster Blade because I have no other best play. And this is all I can do. That's basically it. Um, why do we play certain crits? Well, we play this crit because if you have to stride into alt mile, it's a booster for your rear guard and it can make alt mile big. And if you need soul, it gets goes in the soul and draws you and draws you a card. So if your hand if your hand is looking awful, hey, it's a booster and it can get you a better draw. Um, we play the the best card in the deck, um, Flogel. Its skill is when a blaster blade swings, Cattle Blast One, put this card back in the deck and we stand Blaster Blade. That's the deck. Put all the crits on Blaster Blade and make him swing multiple times for um, decently big. That is the deck. It's pretty, yeah, psst, my bank last 54. It's only one deck, to find. It's the only deck I need, Brian. It's the only deck I need. Four heals and you play the original heal trigger. Lane, Yeager Seal. I love this heal. She's always in my hand. When I don't want it, all right, strides. We play three science for guard strides. If you don't know what this stride does, you're living under a rock. Skill is for every grade one on board, everyone in your front row gains 3k power for every grade one on the board. It's basically, basically you make your rear guards pretty decently big, and for as a first turn stride, it's pretty devastating. Play two um, blazing sword feeties. Um, his skill is basically this. Um, so copy himself. Well, flip a copy of anything face up in your flip a copy of anything in your G zone, and discard one, and you call a grade two from your deck. And if it was a brave um, grade two, you draw one, and its GB three is when he swings, um, pick our um, pick two of your rear guards, give them five K power, and choose one of your points rear guards and retire. But the GB three is only when you're in brave. Hey, Damn that shit, man! That's a long game. You both suck. Yeah. But some people heal, yeah, like a lot. Play, or you be going to that? It's called, well, you go into him if, when you're opening him, it's all triggers. That's happened to me so many times. Let's do a secondary guard and see the triggers. Huh? Let's do a secondary guard and see the triggers. They get big. No, basically the play would be, um, you go into him, and you call him, and then when you call him, swing with him with a booster, 
and basically you'll get out this and then he will call you the grade one and then you got a whole board for counter blast two that's too sad okay. we play four alt mile the best recovery strike why do you play him because um sometimes going into um sanctuary right is not good and you don't have a real way to gain advantage for your hand so he gains you field advantage and he gives you a free grade two so plus the grade two that he calls gains 5k power his skill is on strike flip a copy of himself face up um all your rigors in the front row gain 3k power and uh you call it grade two for gb2 um if he's your um when he's your second stride or if he's you know t guard and you throw it into and then you throw it into him um that you call it you call it grade two and it gains 5k power so it's pretty good he's really good for recovery especially against kaguro and narakami and if Gary Chronicle spins their whole board, but they don't do that anymore. They do. It's really good. Um, two Saint Blow Dragons. This is actually the savior against your worst matchups. And if you know your opponent doesn't have a perfect guard, then this stride basically kills them. Um, I kind of want to pick up two more Saint Blows because I might because I want to take out some other cards. Like more than likely, I'm gonna take out one fighties and i'm playing one goblade i want to take them out and run two more uh same blows if you don't know what same blow does um flip a copy of himself face up act ability if he's your second stride um basically he gains 3k power for every royal power you have on the board and if you have two or more he gains a crit so if you have a full board he spins for 41 if he's boosted 46 with a crit um hey that's three to pass but if I get, remember, it's only if I'm doing bad. Because I haven't got 67. Oh, then I lost that game a long time ago. <laughs> but he helps you against Narukami, against Kagero, and Link Joe. Yeah, he's, he's your best off against I'll get you <laughs> Like, if they don't have the perfect guard, you basically can win that turn. If they do have the perfect guard, then if pick it. four damage, yeah. Or three. You do run 12 crits, and you better pray <laughs> for the crits. <laughs> you better pick the shit up and go home. Uh, we run one Gablade. Um, I want to, like I said before, I want to replace this and one fighties because you don't need two fighties. Honestly, I think you only need one because he's only a stride that you use when your hand is atrocious. But he's beyond his strike for royals. If he hits, you call a great two. Um, key guard who played the generic one. If you have a great two on board, he gains 5k shield. It's a whatever key guard. You don't run the other one that came on the last set. That thing is legitimate trash. So I have to. Better than a ninja. Fucking G Guardians. No, no. Your, yeah, yeah. your second G Guard trash. Your first G Guard's meh. They're both trash. Star Vader is getting used to that shit. Play one dismal because you gotta protect your Blaster Blade. <laughs> I'm, I'm being really honest. This no, I know, I know. This to play Blaster Blade. Fuck that Blaster Blade. That's all he's there for. If I, see, if I see one on the field, one in damage and one in your soul, I'm And one screw, because sadly the Cray Elementals are still your best G-Guard. And the new G-Guard that's coming out is only for Brave. Exactly, only for Alt Mile. Welcome to my world. But that is the St. Guard deck profile. Cancer. Um, Yay, Cancer. Will this deck get hit like it did in Japan? Maybe. Um, I honestly think they hit the wrong card. Like, this card is not the problem. Um, if you want to hit the deck, honestly, you have to hit the crit. The crit's what makes the deck. If you hit the crit, the, the deck is completely, you know, fair. Um, if you put the strike to one, that means the Sanctuary Guard player only has one turn to kill you. Well, and if they honest, don't kill you that turn... Putting that guy to one, because uh, you guys love to ride that shit, pitch a random ass card, and get more... So you guys actually set up crap with that guy. So he's such a good one to lower. Yes. So, so does he. But the thing is, he's, he's only going to The thing is, people have to, have to do is ride him, pick some crap, they look at their hand, set the board up. Oh, blast the bay. I'm call that shit there. So I'm, I'm a great too. You buy that shit, you got a blast the bay in the crit. You get another crit push on blast the bay. It's really annoying, man. Now I'm like, no, no, I have to guard this shit. Let's put it to the one and stop that shenanigans. Up. Look, I'm a great too. Okay, I'm set to regard. Here's a blast the Here's a crit. Here's a fogo. Then hit a crit, put shit on blast the bay. True. But so th that was okay. One, one thing I did want to hit that I know the fuck out of me is Flogo. They should have a rather Flogo. If you had a Blaster Vanguard. If you had a Blaster Vanguard, that would have been a lot fair. Or Blaster or Alfred Vanguard. I don't care. You can't use another deck. I don't care about. 
Because they fixed this deck when they hit out when they got rid of the Puma Cat. <laughs> they got rid of um, Sword Me. Should have fixed this shit by just making the, the fucking flow. Oh no! The, when they made this deck worse than it was with Sword Me. This deck is worse than it was before. Well, worse? I mean, better. That's why you play fucking Prisms to Garnet. I'm looking funny. But um, another card they probably could have hit. I guess they could have hit Lou. If you put Lou to one, but honestly, Lou doesn't make sense. That's why I say the crit. Is they just rat the crit? Yeah. That was soft everything. You had a bad nothing. You just rat it. I don't agree with some people saying that the um, Sanctuary Guard should be a GB2 strike. I don't agree yeah, with that's that. Stupid as hell. That's not that's not what it was meant to be. As a first turn stride, there are other strides that make your rear guards bigger. I'm telling you, that's why. Some all the problems everybody hate make Flogel say Blaster Vanguard. Honestly, the Blaster um, support should only work if you have a Blaster Vanguard. That's yeah. why um, the Grade 1 um, Barthol is more fair. So that way it only works with MLB. Or if you want to be nice and say it works with Blaster or Alfred. Like all the new support that's coming out for Blaster Blade. Well, that's how you saw that problem. But then I'm going to do that. But I don't care. I play Guard. But all right, guys. That's the deck profile. Let me know if you want me to do the Ezel deck profile. No one will see that deck profile, buddy. Someone will comment that just because you said that. Bring it on, little bitches. All right, Team Movements, signing off.